Knowing your times tables well has been enough to quickly determine the divisions up to this point, along with the fact families. Now we want to look how we divide bigger numbers. Recall that for multiplication we started off with our times tables, then once we got good at that we were able to advance to the multiplications of larger numbers, and we did it like this. We're ready to do the same thing with division, that is, learning how to divide larger numbers that are beyond our times tables. Example 1, 72 divided by 3. We can stop and think. 3 times what would give us 72? So it's got to be a big number, so let's think. 3 times 10 we know is 30, and 3 times 11 is 33, and we're not even close to 72 yet. So it's clear that this is beyond our times tables. So how do we solve this? Well first, let's put it into our new division format. We'll draw the den, and the dividend ends up in the den, the 72. The divisor, the 3, would go out front, and the quotient will end up on top. We look at our first number in our dividend, that is the 7. And our question, can 3 go into 7? Yeah, 3 can go into 7 two times. 2 times 3 is 6. Now 3 times 3 would be 9, and that's too big. So we'll, let's go back to our 2 times 3. So that tells us that we should put our 2 up here in the quotient. Our quotient will start with a 2. And since we know that 2 times 3 equals 6, we'll put this 6 down here. The next step, subtract 6 from 7. 7 minus 6 equals 1. We notice that we still have more digits in the dividend, so we'll bring down the 2. And now we have a 12. Can 3 go into 12? Well, yeah. 3 times 4 can give us 12. So we put the 4 up here, and 4 times 3 equals 12. So the 12 is down here and ready to subtract. 12 minus 12 is 0. And at this point, we don't have any more dividend digits left. So we're done, and our quotient is 24. Now we can always check that. Remember that multiplication and division are opposites. So 24 times 3 should give us our 72. So let's check. 3 times 4 equals 12. So we'll mark the 2 and carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus our extra 1 is 7. So 72. We've confirmed our answer.